So your Robo Fespian has arrived in its shiny new box. And even better, you've already completed stage one of this tutorial. You'll need a compressed air supply to power his movements. We're going to assume that your compressor is set up and ready to go. You'll also need just three simple tools to get Robo Fespian up and running. It's time to unstrap and get the beast out of the box. When the three boxes are removed, it's time to crack them open and say hello Robo Fespian. We'll remove the base and place that ready to begin your build. Locate the bag of fixings, usually located by the legs, and then locate your robot's 24 volt power supply. Unfold the base and secure using the screw supplied. Now let's remove the legs from the box. Grip the robot at the top of the legs near the hips and at the ankles. Place the legs on the base. Steady the legs at the top while your friend attaches the screws provided. Start with a screw in each foot to give the robot some stability. Gripping at the hips, tilt the robot forwards and feed the cables through the hole in the base. Now that your legs are secured, it's time to move on to the next step. Next, take the brass shaft from the package of parts. <coughs> brass shaft. Why, thank you. Remove the retaining screw and the PTFE bearing and put these somewhere safe. You'll need them in a minute. Note the flat on the shaft. This locates to the right of the robot. Drop the shaft down so the flat is in line with the hole. Using the smallest Allen key, tighten the grub screw in this hole, wiggling the shaft as you do so to help it locate on the flat. Now place the PTFE bearing over the shaft and you are ready to add the torso. Carefully remove the torso Gripping by the metal bars at the abdomen and the neck, lift the torso clear of the box. Then lower the torso onto the brass shaft. One person should guide the torso so it goes straight down onto the shaft. Voila. Remember this. You'll need this now to retain the torso onto the legs. Secure the torso. Connect the airline, firmly pushing it into the black fitting. Connect the multicolored connection down to the legs. Again, push firmly. It will click into place. Connect the network cable using the small coupler. Click. And finally, the 24 volt robot power into the power board located just under the rear cover. Lift the kiosk out of the box and place near the robot. At the robot's feet, connect the airline to your air supply and switch on. If there are any loud leaks of air, switch the air off again and check the airline into the robot's torso is securely fitted. Connect the network cable using the joiner to the kiosk port marked robot. Remember the 24 volt power supply? Connect this to the round plug near the robot's feet. Connect the other end to the power extension and plug this into the kiosk. Connect the other network cable from the socket marked LAN in the kiosk to your local area network.
And finally, connect the mains power cable. And that's it. The robot and kiosk will start up automatically. Hey presto! I'm alive! Thanks Marcus! You have very gentle hands! Join us on the next video to learn how to use the touch screen!